Hey, what up y'all, Mr. Cruz here, your friendly neighborhood producer back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys all about how to use the vintage limiter. Let's go. Now, you guys might not know what a limiter is or what it does, um, but a limiter, it kind of does exactly what it says, where like it limits how loud or how much volume a track can have. Um, but the odd thing about it is that people oftentimes use it in order to make their tracks louder or to get their tracks to be as loud as possible. I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that using the vintage limiter. Right now, I have this beat um, playing right here. So let's take a listen real quick. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that up a little bit more and we wanna do that without it clipping over here. So you'll kind of notice that over here, it doesn't jump into the red. And you might see how like it almost gets to the very end, but it's not like this, like. Right, that's what I mean when I say it's not getting into the red. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can get the same results using the limiter. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is by adding the limiter, you want to set the threshold um, to negative one. All right, so essentially that's gonna be this part right here, which I think it's gonna be the uh, the volume knob. So I'm gonna set the volume to like negative one or negative half, anywhere between negative half and negative one is really where you wanna be. So from there, I can now turn this gain knob up as far as I want to, and it's not gonna go into the red over here, all right? Turn your headphones down. The reason is because I set my limiter to not let anything go above negative one dB. And once you go past zero dB, that's where this right here starts turning into the red. And what you're getting is actually you're getting clipping, which causes distortion, but that's kind of what you can do. So the other stuff that we have here, it just tells you how the limiter is gonna react. Uh, for example, attack tells you how long it's gonna take before the limiter kicks in. The release tells me how long the limiter is kind of gonna not take effect after it's been disengaged. Knee says, you know, how sharp do you want that limiter to like start kicking in to start turning volume down that goes past the threshold of negative one dB and then enhance. I kind of don't really know what enhance is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'll take a listen to it here in a second. And then gain, this is what you wanna do. You have your music or you have your beat or whatever and you want it to be louder but you don't want it to go into the red to clip. You're gonna set the volume to negative one and then you can slowly start turning the gain knob up. You don't want to just crank it up too much because that's how you're going to get your music or whatever to sound the way that mine sounded here, where it's like really distorted, really over compressed. Just want to turn it up little by little. Once you can kind of start hearing that, that like it's really kind of compressed and it's like breathing, you get that like pumping effect. Then you just want to like go from that point, you're going to turn it back down just a touch and then you should be good. So there you go, a quick little video, how to use the limiter in order to get your music to sound much louder. And there's a lot more that goes into this, but if you're just an artist who's like, hey, I found this beat on YouTube or whatever, and then I'm recording my vocals on another track, but man, that beat is too low, or my vocals are way too low. This is how you can get that stuff to turn up more without it compromising the quality of your sound. So that's what I got for you guys. Drop a comment below and let me know if you've ever used the vintage limiter. Also hit that like button if you felt like you learned something today. If you wanna check out some of my other Bandlab videos, click right here. Outside of that, it's your boy, Mr. Cruz, out.